the Apostle James writes a letter in the New Testament to a group of churches who have been dispersed um, out of Jerusalem, which was the centre of the Christian church at that time. They're, 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 they're moving out because of the fear of persecution. Uh, and in light of that, it's interesting how James then starts his letter. He says this, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. Like considering what they're living under at the moment, literally the fear of death, it's surprising maybe that he would say, count it as joy. Then what he says next makes more sense as we add that to verse two. He says, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Here's what I think James is saying that we can count it as joy when we're under the, the difficult circumstances of life because in those circumstances we are able to hold less onto ourselves and hold more onto God. We can rely less on our own abilities, our own strengths, our own provision and we are forced to rely more on God's provision, his strength and his ability and as we do that we become grounded in our faith. We become more convinced of who God is and what he is doing. And James says, as we become steadfast in our faith, we become perfect and complete. Like that isn't going to happen until we leave this world and we go to be with Jesus. But whenever we read those two words, perfection and completion, we should always think of Jesus. He is the embodiment of perfection. He is the embodiment of completion. And he lacks nothing. James is saying something profound here. As we face trials, we can be steadfast in our faith, hold fast onto God. And as we do, the result of that is that we move closer and closer towards Jesus. We move closer and closer towards being like him and being with him. So let us counter all joy today, brothers and sisters, as we meet trials of various kinds, as God makes us grounded in our faith and moves us towards Jesus.